Hi everybody, it's Lisa Marie here. Hi my sweet lifers. Listen, today we're doing another Sweet Life in Christ with Father Andrew. Thank you for being here. Thanks today. for having me. Yeah. Today we're talking about Mary Magdalene. And yes. there's a lot of wonderful and some controversial yeah. things surrounding this <laughs> yeah. woman in our Bible. So she is one of the most misunderstood characters in the Bible, but she's also, a, aside from, of course, Mary and, and some of the apostles who... Um, you know, went out and tried to the church. She's one of the most important apostles. She was the apostle to the apostles. Right. Uh, she she was the first to tell the res risen Lord. To, she was the first preacher. <laughs> the first to preach on the risen Lord. But there also are some misconceptions about Mary, which are unfortunate because it's, it's taken this wonderful lady who gave her life, or, you know, dedicated her life yeah. to this church and to serving the world and to Jesus and followed Jesus at the end. It took what she did and, and, and you know, just, and added an unnecessary um, um, drama, I guess. So Mary Magdalene, unfortunately, she became known as, a, as her profession as a prostitute. Right. You know, um, and and that was not. There's no biblical reference to that. What happened was she was always in, um, confused because there's lots of Marys in right. the Bible, as we know. Right. Uh, Mary is one of the most common names for women or girls in that time for Jewish given names. So, um, it's not, um, it's not, not out of the ordinary that there's all these Marys. Um, there's just a lot of Marys running around, just like there's a lot of, you know, people with the same name that we know. Right. Um, but so she was confused with Mary of Bethany, Mary, Martha's sister, and then uh, the unnamed sinful woman. And then, and then she was the one who had the demons cast out of her. And event, sometime in 500s, 531, I believe it was, Pope Gregory the First uh, preached a sermon and alluded to Mary Magdalene being a prostitute. And since then, and, and especially in the medieval era, they her identity shifted to this prostitute, the sinful woman who was a prostitute, and Jesus forgave her and took her in. Eventually, down the line, there was, you know, some those 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 fruit or ideas that she was a there her and Jesus were secretly wed, which also there's no biblical reference to that. So I'm not going to really spend a whole lot of time yeah. to show that there's no biblical or traditional or um, you know teachings about that. Um, but the prostitute thing, really, for hundreds of years, that stuck with Mary, and um, and that was a big issue in the Protestant Reformation because they didn't. You know, the reformers didn't. They wanted to shift that, that too, because there's again no biblical reference, nothing, uh, no, no, no um, um, teachings, no tradition that she was a prostitute other than Pope Gregory. Right. Five hundred years. It's after amazing her life. those sermons, guys. Yeah. So those sermons, <laughs> they can yeah, really, really uh, mess up. Yeah, you stuff. have to watch out. Yeah. Um, but Mary did. So she was she um, in scripture. She was the one who had seven demons cast out of Jesus. After that, she dedicated her life to following Jesus. And that's what she did. She followed him everywhere he went. She, along with the disciples, was with Jesus throughout his ministry. She she was one of those, one of the women who stuck by him to the cross. You know, most of the disciples, as we talked about, they either um, deny Jesus, they fled to save themselves. There's a couple who watched from the distance, but Mary stuck by his side while he was at the cross. Mary, along with the other Mary, um, watched him die. Um, but also they watched him be resurrected. So we know that Mary was, in all the synoptic gospels, she was at the tomb. They went to go anoint him after the Sabbath, which was the custom. Um, they got there to the tomb to discover it empty. Um, they were informed that he's not here, he's risen. And the first thing... She, and to go tell the disciples. So here Mary took this information, the, new, the good news of the risen Lord, and told the disciples. So in a way, she was the first evangelist. She was the first one to tell the good news. She was, and I always like to say, um, she was the first preacher, um, the first person to preach the resurrection. And that's what she did. She, she apostled, she told the apostles um, what, what, um, what happened. And it was because of Mary that they got to... No, they knew of the resurrected Lord. They experienced the resurrected Lord, and so she has an important part to play in this. And and um, you know, God uses God just because the disciples were a bunch of men. That that's just who we talk about. We don't talk about the disciples that were women as much. And and I think that's a, a or if we do, it's because well, she was a prostitute. Look at what look what Jesus did for her. That's not what happened. She yeah. she gave everything for the church for. For, um, 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 
for the, for Jesus. And I think we really need to recognize that beyond just this this idea that some man in 500 years after Schubert um, it was an idea he had. And so uh, I I think she is one that we definitely can that we we. That, that's underrated. One of the most underrated, right. in my opinion, um, apostles and disciples is, is Mary, who really stuck by Jesus throughout her life. And according to tradition, she was wealthy. She had um, land, and she gave all that and funded pretty much the disciples' mission, the apostles' mission. And uh, and 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 that you know that that's that's something that needs to be applauded and, right. and, 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 and realize that, you know, um, when God calls us is there's no letting up, there's no, you know, it, it, it takes a hundred percent of follow, you know, we, we put our whole lot, our whole lives into this following Christ, not just when it's convenient for us, just like Mary did. She well, and you know, life. and I don't remember his name and forgive me for that, but there's a, there's, we just studied it not that long ago when we were doing the, the liturgical stuff where the guy, which guy is it that was asked to let all of his possessions go? Oh, the um, um, rich man. Um, no, 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 no. He was the rich man who asked Jesus how to get to heaven. Yeah, know, he well, wanted to know how to get yeah. to heaven. And, and Jesus told him it's very simple. You know, yeah. let go of all these yeah. things. Yeah. And and Mary Magdalene did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. She, she recognized did. that they're only good here. <laughs> they're not good in heaven. And that's really what Jesus was saying. If we hold on to our possessions more than our faith and our relationship with God, we're not getting those. If we if we're clinging to those so much, there's we're not taking them to heaven. So how are we? You know, um, we're, sometimes we lesson, let it keep us back. It's also the lesson in the Christmas Carol with Charles Dickens. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. Scrooge and yeah. sitting around counting a whole bunch of coins and stacks yeah. of money, and at the end of the day, what good is it? Yeah. I mean, you have to give it to Tiny Tim and help the families yeah. that are in need and. Yeah. And give away what you've got to yeah. be able to help your fellow man. Yeah. And I just love that she was there from the very beginning to the very yeah. end. Yep, she was when when she was had the demons cast out, she said, I'm she put it all in it's get all it all into the, the follow. Yeah. And she was one of the most ardent followers of Christ. And um, she gave everything for that follow. And you know, it's 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 we all are called to follow Christ. We all are Christ followers and you know yes, the disciples did abandon they they they, they, they weren't by his side like Mary was at the cross. God still used them. They didn't cast right. them out. Um, but it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it, we understand that when, when we follow, it's not just on Sunday mornings. No. We don't just follow, or we're not just Christ followers at church on Sunday. We're Christ followers our whole lives. Mm -hmm. And it takes our whole bodies, our whole minds, our whole, everything we got. It should be given to Christ, and that you know means how we act, how we treat people, how we love one another, how we um, how we serve the world, how we um, tell the world about His resurrection, like Mary did. All of that encompasses following Christ, and it's not just a one-time shot. It's no. it's something we take with us, just like Mary did. Yeah. Um, she put up. She went a hundred and ten percent in. Yeah, and if we all do a hundred and ten percent, then yeah, it's there's no way it can yeah. fail. Yeah. This is, exactly. you know, that's the most wonderful thing about putting yeah. in your all. Exactly. You know, exactly. You have to put all of it in for yeah. Christ. So. And she did. She did. And that's yeah. a, a, an example for us of how how really easy it is. It's not a burden. It's yeah. not something that we're, you know, we're, 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 it pulls us down. It makes, we can, st we're still, we still live our lives, but we live it in a way that honors Christ, that shows Christ, that, that helps people experience Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're called to do as followers of Christ. Yeah. And when we put it aside, if 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 we're not showing Christ, <laughs> no, yeah, no. Yeah. So, well, I hope you guys have found some value in that. I really want to have cleared up all that nonsense about Mary <laughs> yeah, Magdalene. It's yeah. wonderful to have done that as well, because there is and always has been around her a little bit of yeah. a craziness. Yeah, unfair, unfair. And she was really wonderful and marvelous, and how yeah. her faith really guided her, and, and and her saying yes too, mm -hmm. like the Blessed Virgin Mary, yep. which we also discussed you know yeah. the yes saying the yes when you're called the yes is what we're, we're called to do and we all should do that i hope you guys have found some value in this if you have do us a favor like and share don't forget to ring the bell and we'll see you soon on another sweet life in christ take care bye